I'm sure a lot of them liberal folks don't like me talking about giving a gun to Smithsonian, but what they don't understand about a gun, of anything I could give to a museum, is that uh, it's got some emotion attached to it. There's something about uh, carrying something that stabs you in the sciatic nerve uh, in case you need to kill a man or a woman or whoever. And uh, there's something about not being able to leave your home unless you have that firearm because you because you know one thing, uh, someone might be waiting for you out there and there are people out there looking for you and if the police miss someone, then uh, I'm gonna have to use that and there's something about training with a weapon. And so, um, I'm not sorry for saying that I believe in the Second Amendment because I believe in my survival. When the Constitution says you have the right to life, liberty, and property, well, that wasn't the Constitution. That was a Declaration of Independence that said life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness, but that's based on John Locke writing life, liberty, and property. And property matters a lot. Um, and the Constitution, when, when it's talking about the right to be secure in your person, um, that's, that's talking about the right to property. I don't think people fully understand it. I mean, that, that's why the, that warrant law is so specific, because they were so worried about someone violating the right of property because kings always violate the right to property. It's, it's just what fascists do. When you take over a government and overthrow the Constitution, you have to take away the right to property to maintain your power because other people's property can be a threat to you. And that's why people want to take away my firearm. But uh, I think they changed their mind about that. All right, so uh, the part of the story I left out about Taylor Swift is uh, I never really wanted to be with Taylor Swift, so I always wanted to be in a polyamorous relationship. Uh, I had learned about polyamorous relationships while hanging out with a bunch of Burning Man people. And uh, some of them uh, believe that uh, their relationship is more fulfilling when there's more than one person in it. Like if there are two people in it or three people in it because um, their perspective of love is bigger and because uh, people don't get so frustrated with one another. Because there's like something about being in a group versus being one-on-one. -on -one. It makes people funnier. It makes people more enjoyable. Um, that's why people like going out in groups of three or four. Um, all right, so when I say I believe in um, the right to use drugs because of religion, um, and everyone goes, well, he just came up with the story of the cult of Triptolemus, so that's why actually what happened is I, I did have a religious connection to mushrooms, and I feel like I almost had too much of a religious connection, and that's why I'm glad I stopped taking mushrooms completely. But um, they did transform my life forever. They got me off painkillers. I took a, a lot of mushrooms, and I got real sick, and then I got better when I was with some friends in the forest, and it was like my life changed that day when my friend adjusted my back and, and did some chiropractic work on me. And um, it wasn't just about that. It's that um, mushrooms are the reason that I started playing guitar every day, because I, I just and they're the reason I quit cigarettes. Um, they're the reason I break up with people. They, um, they kind of speak the truth to you sometimes, and so I do think they're spiritual. If there's anything in the world that's spiritual, um, for, L for LSD and Molly, I think a lot of people believe that spirituality is about your connection with other people, and Molly opens up your heart to having a new type of connection with um, the people around you. And so um, I think if there's anything that is um, of, a, of a religious or spiritual nature, it is um, a relationship if, if, if you're a spiritual person. Because that's kind of like the goal of spirituality, right? Better relationships. If, if like, I mean, if the goal is utilitarian, if the goal is practical, then um, you would think the goal would be um, happier interactions with others. All right, but that doesn't mean that I use Molly. I don't at all. None. I haven't used it for uh, probably uh, 10 years. All right, so um, Lizzie Grant, and I, uh, she was one of the three people that I wanted to be with because I didn't want to be with Taylor Swift by herself. I thought there was no way I could be with Taylor Swift by herself. I'll be with her, Katy Perry, and this girl, Beth, who uh, had been switched out for Elizabeth, who I've known since I was a child. Um, like since I was a little, little kid, like I, I knew her, I knew her family, like when she was like a baby. I have pictures of her when she's like itty, itty bitty. 
All right, so, uh, life's complicated, and life can get scary, and I understand that everyone thinks I'm crazy, and I don't really care, because let's face it, it doesn't matter if I'm crazy. If there's anything I know is that I was told wrong information on more than one occasion about, I, I, told, I, I was told I know Justin Bieber. <laughs> yeah, right. It was a joke. It, it's, a, it's a prank. Everything we do is a prank. We always... <laughs> We are the biggest pranksters of all time, and I don't think people realize that. Like, we're constantly pranking me. I'm sure y'all know about pranks on me that I don't even know about. 